Hello and welcome. In today's episode, we'll be talking about narcissism. Before we dive into our discussion, if you find the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the notification bell to stay updated on all our new content. What do you think about trying something completely different instead of confronting the narcissist or seeking revenge for what he has done to you? Before I tell you what you should do, I want to emphasize something very important, anything you try to do with a narcissist will cause you exhaustion and fatigue, and it may not succeed in getting revenge or taking your rights as you imagine. The expert narcissist is skilled at manipulating anything to his advantage. He can change anything and manipulate facts in a terrible way that serves his interests. The narcissist always has a fake sense of self-worth and a severe lack of empathy. He cannot understand or be bothered to know what you're feeling. He believes he is the most important person in the world. The only thing the narcissist needs from you is your energy and your ability to make him happy, also known as narcissistic supply. As long as the narcissist gets this from you, he will continue with you. If you manage to cut off this supply, he will move on to a new victim and treat them exactly as he did with you. More importantly, he will treat the new victim as if he never met you before. All you need from the narcissist is for him to leave you alone. The problem is, when you provide the narcissist with the supply he seeks, it's not intentional on your part. It's because it's your nature to help and stand by others when they need you, especially when it comes to someone close to you. Do you have the willingness to do anything in the world to save the person you love, whether it's a family member, partner, spouse, friend, or anyone who holds real value to you? However, the situation we are talking about now is that the person you devoted your entire life to and loved with all your heart turned out to be a narcissist. Unfortunately, you don't seem to realize this at the beginning of the relationship. It's as if the narcissistic charm almost magically shaped all his behaviors at the beginning of the relationship. However, over time and as the relationship continues, you find that everything has changed, and he has become a completely different person. All the charm, beauty, love, and care you experienced disappeared overnight, revealing the painful truth. Unfortunately, this happens precisely when you have fallen deeply in love with him, making it incredibly challenging for you to distance yourself or even imagine the idea of the relationship ending or being severed. This is where the narcissist excels. The best thing he does in his life is to deceive you for a certain period so that you fall in love with him. He starts ensuring that he has control over you and dominates your life completely. Once he is certain that he has control over you and knows that you are deeply in love with him, he understands that you won't be able to easily let go of the relationship because you genuinely love him madly. This may be considered your only mistake, truly loving him, which leads you to sympathize with him each time he does something painful or behaves in a hurtful and abusive manner. You find yourself hoping that he will change or that he might be doing these things unintentionally or without realizing. Unfortunately, the narcissist, even if given ten chances, will go back to doing what he did before every time. Unfortunately, the only solution in a narcissistic relationship is complete distance and cutting ties, no matter how close or strong the relationship may seem. There are many types of narcissists, and not all types behave in the same way or with the same tactics. Each type or individual narcissist has a specific way of behaving, but in the end, they are all narcissistic. In dealing with a narcissist, it is essential for you to at least identify the type of narcissist you are dealing with in order to understand their behavior and the way they interact with you. This understanding will help you comprehend the reasons behind their specific actions and why they behave in a certain manner towards you. Additionally, if you genuinely need to overcome this narcissistic game, it is crucial for you to be one step ahead of the narcissist. A vital step in dealing with a narcissist is to try and learn their game. This is not an easy task, and not everyone can accomplish it, as it requires you to ignore as much as possible any provocative actions or words from the narcissist. 
We all know that narcissists can be extremely provocative and can easily elicit a reaction from you. However, when you understand their tactics and know how to handle them, you can execute this step successfully. The key is to remain silent and try to agree with everything they say, making them believe that everything is fine and allowing them to continue with their life and their chosen path. However, be careful not to let them suspect that you are merely playing along. The important thing to remember is to avoid giving the narcissist any indication that you are challenging their intelligence or planning to leave the relationship. It is crucial to be cautious about this approach, as the narcissist should never sense that you are taking advantage of them or preparing to end the relationship. When the time is right, you can separate yourself completely from the relationship without hesitation. Once you realize that you have planned the situation well and have genuinely decided that the relationship cannot continue, you can leave immediately. However, keep in mind that this advice applies to individuals who can afford to do without a controlling narcissist in their lives. It should not be the sole source of their life, finances, or livelihood. Only then can you confidently declare that you are leaving the relationship at the appropriate time. And also, Something very important is that you must be sure that you have someone by your side, the ones we use to call the support group, those who truly love you and will stand by you. The next step is to set boundaries without compromise. You need to know your boundaries well and not be lenient about them. However, be cautious because narcissists have an incredible ability to distort everything you say, convincing you that certain things never happened or occurred differently from what you are saying. What I mean by this is that it would be better for you to try to document or write down everything that happens so that, during a confrontation, you don't doubt yourself, and the narcissist cannot manipulate your thoughts or change your mind. When you have written down everything that happened, for example, on a specific piece of paper or notebook, it will be very difficult for them to convince you someday that what happened did not occur or occurred in a different way. Moreover, if you leave the narcissist, expect them to try to reach out to you and attempt to come back to you in any way. Setting boundaries will help you even after separating from them because all their attempts will be to break these boundaries. Be aware that you are the one who will give them a chance if they enter your life again or fail in doing so. An extremely important step you must take is to stop thinking about anything positive that was between you and the narcissist. This mindset should not be in your vocabulary after what happened between you and them. This is to prevent any sense of regret at any time for these things. You must consider something more important, that you are not the one who benefited from the relationship, you are not the one who caused harm, but rather, it is the narcissist who did all of this. They are the ones who benefited from you, drained you, and caused you harm. The narcissist has acted irrationally with you, and indeed, many people have told me that they came close to losing their minds due to what happened. The difficulty in understanding the situation often leads to a state of disbelief. Put in front of your eyes that the word, sorry, should never cross your mind because, unfortunately, apologizing, even if you apologize just to ease the situation between you and the narcissist, will make matters worse. Apologies will not make them change their behavior towards you. The next thing is to accept that the situation has ended here. Remove any fake hope or idea from your mind that makes you believe it can change, and there is no way you can return to this relationship. This step is essential, even if it takes time and you miss the days that were supposed to be good with them at the beginning of the relationship. It's entirely natural to feel this way because, at some point, you love this person. Completely close the door on this from your life, look forward, and never think about anything related to it. After that, try to learn how to overcome this stage. You need to focus more on yourself, forgive yourself, and work on improving yourself before re-entering life. I mean this when you are still fresh out of the relationship. Certainly, there has been a change in your mentality and life after the painful experience you went through. You may need some time to prepare yourself and start moving forward in your life again. What we are saying, despite being challenging for many, 
is because they are still dealing with attachment or pathological dependence on the narcissist, and its effects are still present in their lives. However, this is the only solution and the only way to save yourself and start a new life that satisfies you. In the end, I hope you have benefited from this discussion, and I look forward to meeting you in the next episode with a new topic on narcissism. Thank you, and peace be upon you.